you. Well, new tonight, the mayor visited Rikers Island today as faith leaders held a vigil outside of City Hall. And News 12's Marissa Marcelino was there as they called for the jail to be closed and for the mayor to hear their concerns. Advocates, the Interfaith Center of New York, and leaders from religious communities across the city joined together to mourn the nine lives lost this year after being in Department of Correction custody at Rikers. They say they won't rest until the jail is shut down for good. This is not a policy issue. This is an issue of human rights. This is an issue of human dignity. Rita Talib of the Muslim Community Network says the mayor needs to move quickly to close, not reform Rikers. She says nine 90% of the people incarcerated are awaiting trial, including the nine who died this year. Even people at Rikers deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. It doesn't say much about them when they're being treated this way, but it says a lot about us. Amar Abdul Rahman of the Council of African Imams is in favor of borough-based jails within the community and says repairing the notorious jail isn't an option. He says he believes that if anyone is being treated unjustly, it affects all of us. They're not asking to be treated like kings and queens. They're just asking for basic human rights, access to medication, something like, you know, day outside where they could see the light, not in solitary. Confinement. The mayor said after spending time with young people on Rikers today that he will do whatever it takes to support and protect people in custody and the officers. The city is due back in court in November for a status update on the city's Rikers action plan to address the crisis. At City Hall, Marissa Marcelino, News 12.